And if you're hoping to bet on the upcoming midterms right now, you can't, at least not legally, but that could change. Correspondent Marky Martin is live, and Marky, regulators could give this the green light. Hey, Nicole. Yeah, so one company has put in its official request to the Trading Commission. That big decision is supposed to be coming down tomorrow. And as you can imagine, lots of big differing opinions on whether or not this would be a good thing. But that company actually seems pretty confident. They've even published a countdown clock right there on their home page, counting down the hours to the first U.S.-based elections betting market to when that could possibly go live. Americans love the thrill of a gamble. One in five admit they've bet money on sports in just the last year alone. But elections betting? That mainly takes place outside the U.S. and is illegal in many states. But derivatives exchange Kalshi Incorporated is trying to change that. The company asking the Commodity Futures Trading Commission to approve their request to become the first U.S.-based election betting market, even including a countdown clock on their home page for it to begin, if given the green light. I give it zero chance that there will be regulatory approval for this. Legal commentator Chris Melcher says political betting presents a host of problems, not only giving voters financial incentive to vote for certain candidates, but also possible widespread election fraud. In this climate, with so many allegations having been made about election fraud in the past, this does not seem like a good idea because the foundation of our democracy is to have free and open elections, and we don't want to have questions about somebody profiteering off of an election. In a statement to News Nation, Kalshi responded to critics' concerns, saying this, election trade has been alive in the United States for many years and on offshore exchanges popular in the UK and other liberal democracies. These fears have never come to fruition. The only change here is bringing regulation to these markets. The Trading Commission expected to announce their ruling on the matter tomorrow. Previous attempts to regulate elections betting have been unsuccessful. And Nicole, just a little history lesson for viewers here. You know, states started to outlaw that practice back in the 1940s, but it was actually popular. It was widespread before World War II. Uh, also, this week in existing Kalshi bets, investors could bet on moon landings, hurricanes hitting Miami, and monkeypox getting named a pandemic. Nicole. All right, Marky, thank you for that. Well, let's thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.